I wait, edging jacket, pocket hands, shuffling like a timid penguin through the very slow meander of a parallel slalom that starts outside Asda. The thrill trembles me as I see five equally distanced contestants left in front of me. I'm finally on the home straight. I cross the finish line into the supermarket, squinting sideways from the bright, sterile sun. A distant crowd silently cheers. I weep uncontrollably, hugging a trophy basket. But the race doesn't stop there, and I instantly make like a snake on a Nokia 3310 around the aisles. I see arrows have been taped to the floor to give me acceleration power-ups. I reverse down the entirety of the cereal aisle as a partly folded old lady obliviously pushes on. Trolley first, steers forward quicker than I naturally backstep. I scuff my shoes on the corner post, almost miss foot backwards over the nut stacks and take cover under a rogue crate. My basket makes for an ideal shield and I spy for its plastic lattice for the perfect moment to get back in the game. The old lady skirts round the corner and disappears off into the social distance. I allow myself a whispered sigh of relief. I get up to my knees and continue on, encased in my green plastic protective gear. On high alert, my eyes snap dart in all directions. I sidestep furtively, holding tight to the end of the aisle until I see the coast is clear and make a run for the sugar. I catch my trembling breath and whip up a sharp, short pep talk and pick up the pace, hugging the perimeter. I scan the area for other players and stalk on in my powerful green get-up. I see a man, also all in green, arms full of stock, hunched over the eggs, protected by a giant silver cage. Great choice of shield, I think and divert my path to dodge his shining force field. I see a clearing and dive roll to the bread rolls. I snatch a baguette, snickering evilly, congratulating myself at an excellent weapon of choice. Crate overhead, basket in front, brandishing my new dough stick cannon. I boldly charge to a trough of potatoes. There is a large potato hovering closely above the trough and I think, I wonder, if I jump up to it, will I absorb it like the hedgehog absorbs the rings? I approach tentatively, stealthily, but the glorious gleaming floating potato swerves away. Flummoxed and momentarily dismayed, I scold myself for mistaking a bald head. I whisper an apology to the King Edwards and slink on. I notice a space beneath the top bunk of bananas and slot myself in. Body first, then crate helmet, then basket shield. Perfectly camouflaged, I rip hunks of French baton and chew impatiently. I peek through the meticulously spaced holes awaiting my next move. Someone from above speaks with a peg on their nose. Sheila, Sheila to the vegetable aisle, please. Ah, so this is my arch nemesis, Sheila. I smugly chort on and emerge from beneath the bananas. Standing guard with my half baguette, I puff my chest out and stare vainly into the distance. Breathing destiny. This is it. The boss level.